What's going on guys? It's been quite a while before I recorded a video and I have absolutely nothing planned. Like well, usually I have my videos planned out um, of what I'm gonna talk about, but this one is gonna be a simple one. I'm a little rusty and I kind of just wanted, I wanted to give it a go. Just see how, you know, see how it feels. So this video is gonna be about Bitcoin. It's gonna be similar to one of the videos that I made in the past talking about fractional shares, but it's gonna be fractional shares basically for Bitcoin. So if you don't already know, Bitcoin is crazy. So as of the recording of this video, Bitcoin is trending at $59,820.97. If you didn't invest uh, early enough, there's still hope. Um, I, I think a lot of people have this misconception that for Bitcoin, you, you have to have $60,000 hanging around and that's the only way. I know a lot of you guys are familiar with the process, but if you're just starting out, there's still hope. You can still get into Bitcoin. You don't have to go crazy. You don't have to have $60,000 to buy one Bitcoin. Um, that's, that's actually the beauty of why I love fractional shares and why I made that video because when I first started investing, I'm not a pro, this is not investing advice, uh, so don't take it that way. When I first started investing, I thought that I had to buy full shares of stocks. I thought that in order for me to invest, if I didn't buy full shares and I couldn't, that's when I started like digging into it and then I put a dollar by mistake and I saw that I could invest $1 and you guys know how it goes. I'll put the link somewhere around here so you guys can see the old video that I made about that. But basically, that's what I wanna talk about in this video. If you are not familiar with fractional shares, what a fractional share is, is exactly what it sounds like, a fraction of a full stock and you can spend as much money as you have with as little as one dollar you can get started investing that's why it makes it so easy for if you're a brand new investor and you want to get started uh, that not only works for Bitcoin but it works for regular shares as well but since we're focusing on Bitcoin let's just keep talking about that so as of the recording of this video Bitcoin is trending at fifty nine thousand nine hundred and fifty three dollars with seventy nine cents and it just dropped so uh, if you wanted to buy a fractional share, let's say you only have $1 to get started and that's what you want to invest into Bitcoin, you could. You're simply gonna press buy in whatever brokerage you use, you're gonna put $1. So if I was to invest $1, I would get 0.00001667 of shares of a Bitcoin, which basically and obviously it's not that much. Um, I don't wanna make it seem like it's a crazy amount. I don't wanna make it seem like it's this big deal, but you could, if you wanted to, Let's say you have $1,000, invest that $1,000, or every week you wanna start investing little by little because you don't wanna miss on the hype. There are rumors that Bitcoin could be upwards of a million dollars in 10 years from now. I don't know, like I said, this is not investing advice. I'm just telling you what I've heard. Uh, that's what the rumor on the street is. So that's basically what you can do with fractional shares and how you can get started You know, investing in Bitcoin if you really wanted to, if you really wanna you know, be part of what I think, I personally think Bitcoin is next level. Um, I don't have any Bitcoin, I have Dogecoin. Uh, I got started, I threw $100 in there just to see what would happen. Uh, I think right now it's trending like a point, point zero, 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 0.0005. But as always guys, do your homework, do your research, uh, see whatever brokers you guys uh, want to get started with. I currently use Public and I use Robinhood. If you guys want, I'll put the links below. You can get started with any of those. Public doesn't let you trade uh, or invest into any type of Bitcoins right now. Robinhood on the other hand does let me and I only use Robinhood right now currently only for um, Bitcoin and the world Dogecoin. That's the only one that I'm invested in. And I use public for my dividend stocks and my, my other portfolio. Those are the two that I use. But like I said, Robinhood lets me trade Bitcoin. The other one doesn't, but always do your research to see, I think E-Trade, I'm not sure if it lets you do Bitcoin. Um, those are the only ones that I use. So I don't know about the other ones. So just to wrap the video up and not keep rambling, you can get started with Bitcoin. You don't need $60,000 to buy one Bitcoin. You can get started with small increment amounts of five bucks, 10 bucks, 20, whatever you have, whatever you have available to you and whatever you feel comfortable investing in that you don't have to pay any type of bills with or that you have money saved up for an emergency and you don't need this money right away, then you can for sure use it. Like I love fractional shares. Every week, the way that I, I, that I invest personally, I used to do monthly, now I'm doing weekly because you know things have changed and investing has come like, top priority in my life so now I'm investing weekly every time that I get money I invest a certain amount and the way that I do it is instead of let's say I have I invest hundred dollars a week um, what I do is I'll pick four stocks and then I'll put 25 bucks into each so I don't have to buy the full shares I don't have to buy 
you know, 100 bucks, let's say the stock is at 99 bucks, I don't have to buy only one stock. That's the beauty about fractional shares and how you can also do it over with Bitcoin, right? You can just break it down 25 bucks into each and that fractional shares of that one stock. So I hope the video has some type of information that you can use and that can better serve you. I know this is not new, new news. Um, I know a lot of people are new this already, but there's a lot of you who are asking on the comments for different, um, hey, what can I do with this? Can, is it too late for this? Or can I invest, I still invest into that? So I wanted to make the video real quick, real simple, just to clarify that you could get started with Bitcoin. You don't need all that money to get started. You don't need $60,000 to get started. That's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm working on a schedule. I keep saying that on every video, if you go back, I'll say on every video, oh, I'm working on a schedule to make my recordings, um, to have my recording set, but this time I think it is serious. I think this time I have figured it out a little bit better. So we'll see what happens. Not gonna promise anything yet. <laughs> All right guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for subscribing. And we're like close to 1200. So thank you so much. I appreciate the support. Have a good one.